Eid al Fitli in the UAE. The top five destinations, cheap fares, are expected. So when we are looking at the Eid al Fitli celebrations, I remember this is more likely to be what you call a five-day Eid al Fitri break in the UAE. And what does it mean? What does it mean to the flight fares for the top seven destination that we, we might know? What about this? Uh, what I talk about when we talk about the seven top destination? We are talking about uh, uh, where people would definitely rush very fast to go and celebrate uh, uh, Ramadan or celebrate uh, Eid al Fitr uh, with the families. Uh, in this case, we shall look at the fares of the buses. We shall also look at uh, what will be the easiest, the cheapest, or the fastest means at that time, which we can have what we call the flight tickets or what we call the flight fares at one way or the other. Remember, we expect, as as according to this, uh, the travel agents that we talk about, we expect that uh, uh, fares to India, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Pakistan, and uh, UK are set to score uh, during what we call the holy. That's supposed to, they're expected to be a little bit uh, lower than the normal. Because remember, this is a time that uh, people are moving easily away from what you call the last COVID-19 pandemic, where uh, uh, now that there is a uh, uh, easing of uh, travel restrictions all over the world. So you definitely, uh, as the, per the travel agents, they assume that this time that people will be so much keen or would be likely so much to, to, to be in an influx of traveling to go and see or celebrate what you call the Eid al Fitli with their loved one or with their uh, loved one at that case. Remember, when you look at according to the expert of the industry in the travel uh, travel travel side, uh, it means that the demand for traveling up do, up do, uh, abroad is increasing every single moment of the day. Why is it increasing? Why is the demand is increasing so high to travel out? It's the reason being that in this kind of situation is that there is a lot of restrictions that are being eased and uh, I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity and there's a lot of discounted fare tickets uh, or there are a lot of discounts, uh, discount vouchers uh, regarding travel that people can enjoy salvately uh, for these five days at a moment of time. Remember, and more, when you look at the same situation also, we are looking at uh, most of the COVID-19 uh, uh, um, uh, restrictions or travel guidelines being lifted in one way people can now easily move and go especially if those that are fully vaccinated you stand a higher chance uh, you stand a very bigger uh, chance why I'm talking about that you stand a higher chance or bigger chance and this situation we are looking at a situation that where you will not need what you call a PCR test to travel in some destinations or in some entries at one way or the other in case you received all the doses of the COVID-19 plus what we call the booster dose which is a full package then definitely you don't need in one way or the other to have permission or have to a PCR to travel to another country in case that is the case of it all remember this has been uh, actually after the last conv uh, COVID-19 of the last two years where there was no travel and there was a lot of restrictions at one way or the other but remember uh, when we are saying depending on the final destinations forever you that you you are planning to move i don't know where you're planning to go to pakistan you're planning to go to uk uh, you know the popular destination in the subcontinent uh, where when you look at uh, the popular destination in the sub continent we can talk about india pakistan bangladesh and nepal because they're a little bit closer a little bit lot closer to the uae so meaning that uh, in this situation or in this case it is set the uh, the flight ticket is set to uh, it's called a, a two-way flight ticket ticket go and return it is expected to to be lying between uh, 1200 dirham to 2052 dirhams that's what you uh, you expect to 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 to, to be paying for a two-way ticket uh, at that time but remember when we talk about uh, some situations, when we talk about some situations, some countries, for example, uh, uh, Philippines, uh, if in case we get to look at the fares, it becomes more cheaper or more lower than what is uh, compared to what we call uh, the price of ticketing 
that was there in uh, what you call February and March. Remember, by that time, the Philippine tickets was very expensive. Why was it very expensive at that time? Because of the COVID-19 restrictions and barrings that we are being put in one more, one more place. And likewise, on the other hand, when we look at tickets like uh, flying to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, also you look at a situation, Sri Lanka is not all well good now. It will be being driven by what you call economic uh, economic uh, um, economic uh, crisis uh, that means all the dates for the departure and uh, it will definitely uh, fi when you look at the financial crisis and uh, that means the tickets become a little bit very uh, uh, very cheap and remember for anyone that is trying to book this one uh, the booking starts from first May until what you call May 5 so definitely the mice uh, in that situation you look at like they, they've given you enough number of days that to get it off uh, for for example uh, let us try to look at this different category of tickets and we see what, how much someone needs to pay in case he's getting to is getting to this country like for people who are going to Saudi Arabia you you look at an average of the return ticket uh, to Jeddah airport which may be between 1200 to 148 uh, but remember, in this case, the requirement remains stands that the fully vaccinated do not need the PCR test. And those that are not fully vaccinated with the approved vaccine, then you definitely you will need what we call a 48-hour PCR test to be done. And when we when definitely we look we look at uh, people moving um, people moving to uh, to Oman 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 an average fare uh, for the return ticket to Muscat uh, will run as uh, unexpected of 990 uh, dirhams while it may also uh, differ when someone is traveling by bus because if you're traveling by by air it will be 990 uh, dirhams and if you're going to travel from from uh, from Dubai to Muscat at that time it may be at an average of uh, and six six nine nine dirhams uh, remember you are traveling by bus and you may stay on the bus for two nights with the luxury uh, one bedroom and breakfast being served on uh, on the bus so you may need to to part yourself with 900 699 uh, dirhams and when we look at people traveling to india when we say people traveling to india we look at an average ticket or return ticket in this course we are looking at tickets of two and four for the return uh, it may be deferred because if you are moving for example if you're moving from dubai to mumbai uh, we are expected the average to be uh, at uh, 1600 uh, 1365 dirhams and if you are moving from what you call sharija and you're moving to mumbai we are expecting those fares to be 1353 uh, dirhams uh, and these are all inclusive of what we call the return and for for people that may be moving, especially if you're moving from Dubai to Kochi, uh, it may be around uh, 2,000 uh, dirhams that is expected on the average, which is quite very, very fair and very good up, uh, uh, according to according to what is given to us remember uh, between january february and march uh, the highest there were highest peaks of the tickets and uh, very many people will not afford because we are in what you call the pandemic era at that time then we look at people uh, um, uh, people traveling or people who do wish to travel uh, to have that nine days uh, holiday to travel to Pakistan. Remember the average cost ticket to, to what you call Karachi. Uh, we expect that someone, if someone is traveling, uh, it may be different uh, with the different amounts and different destinations that we count. For example, if we are looking at someone traveling from Sharisha, to Karachi, we, we expect the average to be 937 uh, dirhams. And if someone is traveling from what we call Dubai to Karachi, uh, we expect an amount of uh, 1,159 dirhams. That is at that time. Then when you look at uh, Dubai to Lahore, uh, when you look at Dubai to Lahore, Lahore we expect around uh, an average of 1,200 50 dirhams for you to part to have uh, that ticket or to move it at one or the other so meaning that it definitely becomes a little bit very cheaper for you to enjoy in one or the other then when we look at the average for the return ticket that is for philippines we are looking at uh, or we are trying to estimate it in, uh, at uh, at that level 
over 3,300, meaning that if you have uh, uh, 3,300 uh, uh, Filipino peso, then definitely, or uh, when you have uh, 3,300, that is per dirham, uh, UAE dirham, then you can be able to book up a ticket for yourself. And for people who are to beat or people who are planning to, to be traveling to what you call the UK, UK, for the short family visit, then we are seeing you see, or we are seeing you parting with around three thousand four hundred fifty-five dirhams for the travel and for the air ticket for the two hundred return, which is decidedly something that there is actually a very, a very good fare and a very good deal in one way or the other. So thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel consider subscribing by then don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be the only way that you'll be updated when i upload it thank you so much see you again in the next videos makes from the next creation